Today we're going to show you how to properly set up your work area for electroplating jewelry. Here you can see all of the items needed for this three-step process. The first step is to pour 40 grams of electrocleaner soap into a 1 liter beaker of distilled water. This water has been preheated to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Mix the solution with a glass rod until completely dissolved. Next, we will take our stainless steel anode and bend it approximately one inch down. This way, it can be placed easily over the side of the beaker. Now connect the positive lead from the rectifier to your anode. The rectifier should be set at five volts for a one minute period. The second step is to make up the acid activator. Start by pouring 30 grams of activator salt into another liter of distilled water. Now grab your stirring rod and mix the solution until it is completely dissolved in the water. In between each step you will want to set up rinse beakers. Fill each beaker with 1 liter of distilled water. The more rinses the better to avoid contamination. The final step is setting up the precious metal bath for plating. In this example we are using a rose gold solution, but the same steps apply to any color. Start by pouring the plating solution into a 1 liter glass beaker. Next, drop in the magnetic pellet for stirring and install the correct anode for your plating solution. Now connect the positive lead of your second rectifier to the anode. Then turn on your plating rectifier and enter the program setup. For this particular rose gold solution, we want the plating time to be between 30 and 45 seconds. The recommended voltage of 5 should be applied to the stainless steel anode, so let's set that now. These parameters will change based on your solution and the desired results. Finally, our current will stay at 20 amps and we can now exit setup. The last step is to heat the plating beaker to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and set the magnetic stir to a medium slow setting to mix for a minimum of 15 minutes before plating. If you have any comments or questions about setting up for plating or the plating process, please leave them below or feel free to contact us. And be sure to check out our playlist where we go in depth on plating each specific color. Thanks for watching.